literally a flying car. To be fair, it's closer to a plane that drives than a car that flies. Carl Dietrich, Terra Fugia's co-founder and CEO, got the idea for his flying car while he was studying at MIT. The transition is the evolution of uh, a lot of years of thinking and uh, you know dreaming about things like this, and it started long before me. Way before. Glenn Curtis, the chief rival of the Wright brothers, designed the first flying car in 1918. But his bulky three-wing Curtis autoplane could only hop, so it flopped. But what was once the stuff of fiction is now reality. If you have $279,000 lying around and at least 20 hours of flying time under your belt, the standard needed to pilot a light aircraft, this flying car can be yours. The transition is essentially a small plane designed to be roadworthy. Push a button and the wings pull up, allowing the pilot to drive it like a car. It even runs on regular unleaded gasoline. It definitely gets a lot of attention. You know, when you're driving this on public roads, or we had it at a gas station yesterday filling up, and uh, it, you know, people definitely stare a little bit. It's, it's, I would say it's better than having a super sports car. I mean, because this one really does fly. <laughs> so. But is it safe? Dietrich says it is. The flying car can travel at a speed of about 115 miles an hour with a range of about 450 miles in the air, similar to a small plane. The transition is kind of a symbol of what we can accomplish and that these things are totally technically achievable.